The Sherman and Tingle Show. Mornings on 97.1 FM, The Drive, Chicago's classic rock. Are you kicking people out of your house now, Jill? You're kicking kids out of the house? Um, No, this one was just at the school parking lot. What I'm not happened? allowed to kick kids out of the school parking lot. What happened? <laughs> Tell us this glory. Aren't kids the greatest until they say something incredibly insulting right to your face? But they don't think it's insulting? Yeah, well, I feel like this kid knew it was insulting. Okay. So I was picking up my son from um, chorus practice after school, and he's supposed to watch for my car, but he never does because he's always goofing around with his buddies. So I had to get out and go get him. And uh, as we were walking uh, to the car, another friend of his who was with him said, is that your grandma? <laughs> To Luke about me. How old was the kid? Let's put this into perspective. He's in fourth grade, fourth so he's grade. either nine or ten. <laughs> I had a hood on, and I might have been straight from yoga, so no makeup, <laughs> maybe a little sweaty. I don't remember. Sweaty but I was, grandma. I was like, I don't look like a. I mean, if there's anything I know, I'm 43 years old. I don't look like a grandma. So I I heard him, and I go. What did he just say? And he started fading back and going away. And I said, who was that? To Luke. And he told me his name. And I'm like, I don't like him. And just I, that's known now. I said. That's funny. Uh-uh, so Connor. Now, now you're going to the mattresses with Connor? Not a fan. How old is Connor's mom? I have no idea. I will never find out. Is she a younger I don't want to know. I'm assuming she's younger, but I don't know. I wonder if that's like. I didn't no. have kids till my 30s, so I know it is possible to be a grandma at 43, but. Come on. Grandma Jill. You creep. Did you have a like a, a clear plastic thing over your head? No, I had like a, a shower cap. I had a fur <laughs> hood on. So I guess you couldn't see my hair, but yeah. I so it was just my face mm. that made him say, Is that your grandma? Do you have beads on your the car? The little seats? creep. No, I was out of my car. I was walking. I had okay. boots on, I guess. It was like a snowy wintry day recently. I don't think the kid meant anything by it, even though Jill has taken it that way. Oh, I'm going to hate him forever. Oh, that's, a, str- that's a strong word it there, been, Jill. It could have been a legit question for him, you know? All right, if the same thing's happened mm. to you, 312-642, look at you grumble. I'm still mad at him. How did a kid just say something that just ruined your day? Yeah. <laughs> they didn't mean anything by it, but it just it was, ended up being rude. They didn't mean anything by it. it 312-642-WDRV. Oh, Jill, you want to <laughs> hang out? <laughs> We could go play bingo this weekend. I do love you, Blanche, but no, I am not. Do you call it a ca- Do you call it a couch or a Davenport, Jill? Oh, it's a Davenport. A sofa. No, uh, no, see, you failed. 312-642-WDRV. It's 97.1 FM, The Drive. Sherman and Tingle in the morning. So you don't feel so bad, Jill. It looks like Raina had the same thing that happened to you. Somebody confused you, yes. Raina, from Bartlett? Yes. What it happened? Was... Oh, my God. I went to my godson's first. Uh, checkup after he was born with my best friend and the doctor comes in the room and says oh are you the grandma and I'm like no I'm the godmother I'm only a year older than the baby's mom like they thought you I looked was, like the mother of your best friend who you're the same age yeah. of uh. yeah and how old were you I was at the devastated time? 29. 29. Oh, my God. What's wrong with people? That's a good one, too. Hey, Keith and, oh. Keith and Lyle, we're talking about when kids say something rude and they didn't even mean it, but it was obviously very rude. Keith, what was yours? Uh, I went to pick up my daughters from the after-school program at school a long time ago, and I have a little bit of a belly on me at the time, and a little kindergarten girl walked up to me and rubbed my belly and asked me when the baby was coming. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know that kids do that all the time to both women and men when they're, like, when they're real belly heavy. Oh, that's the worst. Wow. <laughs> and you're male, too. That's all the worst. All at the same. You know they really didn't mean that one. Hey, hey, Beth in Chicago, what happened? I brought cupcakes into my 10-year-old nephew's classroom for his birthday, and I'm known for my laugh. And when I brought them, he got super excited, which I giggled at. And this girl, who I still refer to 10 years later as the mean girl, Diana, said to me, you have a really big not- mouth and need to be quiet. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> to and this how did you react? Day, my nephew, yeah, my nephew who's now 20, I'm like, you still talk to my Diana, the mean girl? And he's like, let it go, let it go. <laughs> You're still mad at her? <laughs> that's, that's yeah. did, you have, did you have that awkward giggle when she said that? 
Yes, I did, and that's actually my nickname, Giggle. Yeah, so, that's great. Where you want to be like, fun. shut up, hey, kid. You're holding that all against that, that kid till this day, kind of like Jill. Hey, Marissa and Roselle, you have one? Oh, yeah, it was, it was my niece. I was hanging out with my sister and her kids, and my sister and I were talking, and she was like, oh, I'm going to take the kids to the park. And then she tells the kids, hey, you know, Auntie's going to come to the park with us. And my four-year-old niece gets this real confused look on her face. She thinks for a minute, and then she goes, but we don't need you to go. You stay here while we have fun. Oh, it kind of, you know, it would hurt your feelings if you were a kid, but as an adult, you know. You, you... I know. I, I, wanted to, I didn't know if I wanted to laugh or be like, hey. <laughs> Hey, I yeah, appreciate you not wanting my company. No. Oh, right. Hey, I should tell you that you're also a mistake. And kiss off, you little kid. <laughs> I have to put that in my pocket for next time. <laughs> you're not going to throw that out, are you, Jill? No. No? Okay. Uh, one more. Drew from Mokina, when uh, a child said something to you, ended up being rude. They didn't mean it, but it just came out that way. What was yours? Yeah, I was a uh, summer camp counselor in college, and I was talking to one of the other counselors this little girl came up and uh, and asked the guy I was with if he had a girlfriend. And he said, no, I wish I did. And uh, one of the other girls said to him, oh, when I'm older, I'll marry you. And they're all giggling. And it's this adorable thing, right? Then one of the other girls asked me if I had a girlfriend. And I said, no. And then I'm thinking maybe the girl's going to say that the different girl's going to say the same thing to me. No. One of them says, oh, is it because you're ugly? Oh. And, uh, that that's just hurtful. That's that, that's. But that's little kids. They think it's cute and funny, and they don't get it. Well, how old were yeah. they? Let, let, let's <laughs> let's decipher whether or not they got it. How old were they? Uh, like nine to ten, old enough, you know, right on the cusp, but yeah. old enough that yeah, they knew what they were doing. So I said, no, it's not because I'm ugly. It's because I don't want kids because they might turn out like you. <laughs> oh, summer I ever worked at that camp. <laughs> it's probably good you dipped out at that time. The Sherman and Tingle Show. Mornings on 97.1 FM, The Drive, Chicago's classic rock.